is a presentation of TFNN. Live at TFNN, the Bull Bear Binary Option Hour. Brought to you by Nadex. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Tom O'Brien and Daryl Martin. Welcome, folks. You have uh, Tom O'Brien. Tom O'Brien, we appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. Right now, we have the uh, Dow Industrial is down 61. NASDAQ is up 30. S&Ps are down a buck and a half. Uh, gold as the action out here. Well, the whole market's the action, but gold's down 12 bucks, trading at 11.32. We've got silver down 15 at uh, 14.83. Platinum is uh, down uh, 12 at 9.98. That's a trip. Platinum under a thousand bucks, no yeah. doubt. Uh, bonds. Bottom line is that they can't uh, get those bonds uh, lower price, folks. Uh, the 10 years at 126.05. The 30 years at um, up 25 ticks at 152.04. And for gold getting smashed like it is, uh, the dollar is only up 199 at 98 even, and it's actually not over its uh, highest swing point. But uh, needless to say, a Friday, any Friday, never mind just in the summer, any Friday uh, in the market. And gold, uh, they have the shot to basically uh, take this thing uh, south. If you haven't test drove the Nadex platform yet, folks, come over to our website at TFNN. And when you talk about defined risk, today is the ultimate undefined risk, particularly if you are trading in the, in the gold market, which I am right now. Uh, and there's the 130. Uh, so come over to our website at TFNN. You get a banner on the top and the side. You can hit the banner. You can bring up the Nadex platform. Uh, they'll put $25,000 of paper money into your account uh, in order to trade that to see how these contracts trade. Um, and when you talk to defined risk, particularly something like the gold market right here today, you've heard it many times that your trade is your stop. Yeah. Um, and in gold, you know, like right now we're at 1130. And I actually went in this morning, folks, at 1136. Now, if I was in the futures market, you know, bottom line, your risk is not defined where in this particular market, particularly on this downdraft, you know, gold can move in an extraordinary way. There's no two ways about that. Uh, and so the, the risk value versus, um, I guess the risk value is the huge, the biggest thing. As they, you know, I, I'll well, with the volatility that you have, it's nice that your losses are limited because... Right. You know, you have, I, I went into the eleven seventy five, yeah, the so eleven twenty five to eleven seventy five. So you're trading the spread, same right. as we're doing. Right. The spread range is from eleven twenty five to eleven seventy five. Right. Your long three contracts. Right. So, you know, that's I, I believe what it is. How much is it per, for every tenth? Is that a five hundred point spread? That's from, a fifty point spread. Yeah. Right. Right. But that's as in five hundred dollars. That's right. That's five hundred dollars right. exactly. So, so each full point in gold is going to be a ten dollar move. So it's almost right. the same. Each tenth of a point's a dollar. That's right. I was risking a uh, buck thirty six for three third three sixty. Okay. That's yeah. how that came out. Nice, like a right. two to one. Or, exactly. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, that's nice when you can limit yourself with that type of potential. I mean, I was saying, you know, the market's been moving so much. There have been some extreme risk reward situations i mean well, if, if you week, could get some kind of pullback or or but last you know. week when i was on vacation um i had glanced at the market a couple times right and i saw in the context that the spreads you would have got the whole amount on the spread but guess what you had better, better get out you better get out I know. And, and but what you came up with the, the week prior and this is really important folks okay is that I like trading those 80 point spreads. Now, when you're in the 80 point spread, and this happened last week, the whole spread got crushed. Okay, so you make money. Yep. Okay, and it went down like 40 points below that spread. Okay. So at that point, if you were in those, yep. you absolutely wanted to close them, and because there was nothing left in them, there was a, a couple yeah. of points. But you're going to get what 77 out of the possible 80 points. I mean, there's going to be yeah. a three point premium right. for you know. Something like that, probably, right. if it's within 30 or 40 points at least during the day. Right, and what you can do, though, this is what's so cool, which I thought was really cool. 
is that there's another spread that's available. If you would just say, hey, I want to get those rest of the points, well, guess yeah. what? You can close that spread, use that bread for an additional spread and make even more. It's just being aware of what you're risking to make, right? It's the same right. thing. Would you go into that trade and risk $78 no. to make two? Not even close. Well, if you keep the trade open, that's what you're doing. You're initiating right. that trade. I mean, there's not a big supply, there's not a big bid offer market spread. So it's not like getting out of that, you're losing a lot of money. So you're basically initiating that trade. You can think of it that way. That's right. You're taking that trade to, to risk 78 to make two. That's so right. So of course you find it more attractive that you can get out of that trade, take your 78 off the table, and then maybe risk right. whatever it be, you know, uh, another risk 10 to make 20, risk no, no 15 doubt. to make 15, even an even one, you know? Right. Yeah. Right. And you know what's so wild about this? And I, many of you folks have, have heard me say this before, and I, you, you'll, you'll remember this. Um, I remember, so, so picture this, folks, okay? Tom has been beside me, of course, forever. But on the trading, he's been beside me just about forever also. And I remember when you were in college, right? And the screen's up, right? We're up in Waltham. And, you know, the, the whole deal about buy, sell, hold, yeah. right? And I'm sitting there trading, and he, you're probably 19 at that time, right? 20. I forget. I could have been younger. I yeah, you, you yeah. might have been younger. Yeah. You might, you might, no, you, it might have been you and Timmy yeah. in high school, actually, because yeah. they worked for me in high school. And he turned to me, and this was so cool, because he was like, buy, sell, hold. He says, why are you going to hold something? It was the probability deal. The, it's still, honestly, the term I don't think is, I mean, I don't understand. If no, you're not, I agree if you're not willing you. to buy something, why would you hold it? Anytime I, I'm holding something, you should almost, now there's, you know, when you have profits built in, you can take losses, you can withstand pullbacks, right. you, want, you, know, you have a bigger move, that's one thing. But you're still making a, a play in that you're, you're in there because you choose to be in that stock. Well, whether you got in it a month ago or you're getting in it today, I, you're, you're, no you're making that decision right now to be in that stock. It was, it was so there's the no difference between buy and hold. I mean, well, I, I know they're, they're, they set a rating scale, basically. But it's they should have a rating scale and not well you should buy it, but well, now the, you should just hold it. That, that that's because they want to accumulate. No, I, it was the most common sense thing I've ever that's heard. It's and, still, it's, and, it, yeah. and it keeps you centered because right. the the fact that it matters. Well, if you're gonna hold it, you're yeah. buying it. Right. Yeah. Exactly. There's, no, there's, there's no doubt about exactly. that, man. I mean, and that's important inside this yeah. probability business. I mean, Daryl makes a lot of good comments about that same thing. Yes. You know, maybe taking eighty percent of what you're shooting for and hundred percent, and that's the same thing because. Greed and and all those emotions and fear and and you know profits and losses. If you can just constantly be reevaluating everything on the table without saying, "Well, I got into it at the beginning of the day because and this is so what I thought," too, right? you know, and, and I know. look and you know, as opposed to saying, "Well, it's two o'clock and I've got ninety-five percent of the profits possible and I, now I'm risking." You know, forty to make one, literally on right. some of those spreads. Forty, you'd never be making that trade. So just keep that in mind. Big time. There was a couple of days, uh, I think it was last week, when I was in some of the smaller spreads. So there yeah. was a 20 point, maybe, no, it was a 30 point. So one of the intraday spreads. And I took it off the table, same type of deal, where I, it was below the spread, okay. and I just wanted to take it off the table, and I let about three or four points of premium, you know, that I gave up. And it proceeded to go 40 or 50 points below that and I'm sitting there kicking myself saying oh man and what did it do it came all the way back one of those days about 80 points right. to and I say you know no matter how wrong sometimes you think you are you right. make that decision in the moment right and even then when you know it's down 2% below where I can have max profit in the spread yes. and I'm kicking myself and guess what I would have made less during the day and I had all that money off the table and I, that's an extreme move but it happens all the time that's what you don't you know it does it, it does happen all the time it does. There's, there's no doubt about that yeah. You know, it's pretty amazing. So we have a little pop-off gold. I know. So let's see. You can see in these what time that you got in. So yeah, your gold trade was about nine o'clock, and of course, so right. it's, it's pulled back a little bit since then. But what time is this? A daily one till one thirty? Yeah, for gold. Yeah. So you have some time, which is and nice. That, you know, the way I looked at it for no. for the risk two, versus yeah, the reward. Risk one to make two. It's, right. 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 And and what does happen? Just so you understand that, folks. That that the only way that I'm going to lose all of that is has to go to 25 and it's right. 25. That's right. what, that's what I love right. of about these, this product. Right. Of these three positions you have on, there's still a position value of 220. Right. So each one's worth about 70 some odd dollars, which makes sense because right now it's trading. Right. At what's it trading at right now? 11.32. So each one's worth 70 dollars. You know, 11.32, right. seven points over the bottom of your spread. Right. Yeah. Mm. I like that spread. I know. There's good spreads, especially on a Friday if you play a counter trend. 
Counter trend bounce. Now, of course, if you're playing that NASDAQ for a counter trend pullback this week at all, I mean, I was looking at it, I think it's up 5% since last Friday. Right. The index. Right. That's a pretty big week to be up 5% for an index of 100 stocks. It's huge. Yeah. Well, let's go over Without that. Right literally, now. even so, a pullback. That's. Yeah, well, we're gonna. I'm gonna go get another contract right now. NQ. <laughs> you, you yeah, that. no. Listen, it's, so, it's, you know, so it's it's same if thing. We, keep your keep if, your stops in. You know, right. like defined if, risk. And if we, if you're we, gonna lose a few times, but when you hit it, you're gonna get that risk reward in play. So if we put this up now, this is the NQs. I have one. It's definitely broke out. What, what's intriguing here is that if we you, t you take a look at the NASDAQ in general, the NDX 100 folks, okay? It's all about, well, now you get Google, Facebook, and you have um, Baidu.com. Uh, but what's amazing, okay, so Google L shares are up 88, 78 for the regular Google, Facebook is up 330, Baidu is up 672. The thing that's crazy is that when you look at 100 stocks, it's like, man, I mean, this should be up 50 bucks. So underlying here. It could, but I, the way I look at it, though, is that it's up this much, though, too, with the week that we've done. Oh, it's yeah. It's just like oh, yeah. to say a lot that it can just even power through on Friday still. It's, right. That's Yeah, that's right. That's strong. There's, and, no, there's no doubt about it. You that. know, last week, Daryl was on here when you were on vacation. We were talking about how he was just saying, you know, some people, and I can see why, don't want to trade in this because just like this, this week, it was straight up. Well, if you try getting the way of that and it just turns into momentum maybe or maybe oh yeah no it does you know it does there's no doubt about that tom o'brien tom o'brien you stay right there folks we'll come right back our phone number is 877-927-6648 we have the dow down 78 nasdaq's up 25 s&p's are off two and a half gold's down 13 silver's off 15 we're gonna be right back 15 cents that is Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Techno Mental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You've always taken the long view when it comes to investing, but what if there's an opportunity right under your nose? What if you could be more responsive to market trends to seek to boost your portfolio performance right now while seeking to reduce your overall risk? At Direction Funds, we connect investors with alternative strategies that seek to maximize their returns. Smart investors deserve smart alternatives. Find yours at directionfunds.com. 
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risk charges, and expenses of direction funds carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction funds. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact the direction funds at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. Investing in index funds may be more volatile than investing in broadly diversified funds. Distributed by Rafferty Capital Markets, LLC. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Tom O'Brien, Tom O'Brien. Appreciate you growling and prowling with us. Uh, we're looking at the NASDAQ here, folks, and I am going to be uh, selling one of these spreads here. So why don't we explain what we're doing sure. here? So now this is the master spread that we always talk about. And right. we say the master, so that's the largest one. It's an 80-point spread, right? Yes. Now this spread goes from 45.70 yep. to 46.50. Right. We're at 46.25. Yeah. So we're 25 points away from the top of it in an 80-point right. spread. So we're towards the top end. So that's nice when we're selling it because we're going to be getting a better risk reward. It and, will, you, and you know, this is what we we're just looking at, which is why you want to do it. It all matters what are you going to pay for a premium to get that risk that's reward. That's right. Though, right? And, and right now, folks, the premium is only a point, which yeah. is amazing. So we can Because you already this. have Google up 80 bucks. It's like, is right. it going to go up another $80? I don't yeah. think so. Right. You know, right. intraday. Yeah. Now, what uh, are the odds, right? Right, yeah. I agree. And so what that means that like we have you, you four year in the marketplace almost. And look, this is getting a little pop. It's nice yeah. to behold. We're That's good. Get... See, so, and right we were here. waiting for the commercial to end, folks. So yeah, <laughs> so it's I mean this is so sixty forty six twenty five yeah. is what we can sell it at. Right. And with that, we're so, gonna be at a max loss of two forty nine yeah. with a max profit of five fifty one. So it's hit, better, it. it's hit better, that button. Better than two to one. Right. And so, so picture this, folks. Okay, now we, we've done, you know, a lot of okay, these. Okay, you got it. yeah. So, we know what the, the differential is, and what you have out here today, meaning the premium. And the premium aspect in this today is not in here because everything is so bullish. It's not as much. In that here. matters for sure. It, it, it matters. I mean, there are, it, there are market makers on the other side, so they're they're, they're remember, making that. Because we've seen downdrafts that what ends up happening is that your pre premium is five or ten dollars. I mean, it, it points. It's like insane. It does. Now you still have. I mean, you're still risking two fifty five. You know, and so there's still that play, and there and you're taking the short side in a in a bullish market yes. for sure right no, now. So I, that's, there's no doubt about that. But just to go over nice and simply, how so we sold this. Say right now it'd be yep. selling at the bid forty six twenty four. Right. And you can see where the market is, forty six twenty five point seven. So right. there's about one point three points where we're selling at one point three points below the current market. Right. But with that, we're able to risk two fifty to make five fifty. Right. And that's my defined. I like risk. that. No, exactly. I like that. That's a lot. defined. You know, and like you said, if it just sits I mean, if this closes at forty six twenty four, right where it is right now, I mean you I lose you, a point. Yeah, right. That's it. one point. I lose the premium. Which is ten dollars that you lose. Right. And, and what we also know we have out here is that we know the S&Ps are weak, the Dow's weak, uh, the NASDAQ is the ruler. There's no two ways about that. No, I like, you know, I was listening to Dave at one point this week, and I think maybe it was early in the week where he was talking about what, were the, what was the potential for how far it could open up on Monday morning okay. with Greece, and what was the potential for how far it could open down? He said, you know, all this great stuff happened over right. the weekend, right? And the market was up, but it wasn't up that much, and so that's what, and what he was using was that he would have been short over the weekend, right? And what he's saying is that look at what little pop we got now. If you held it through 
the whole week we saw, but he's talking about from a weekend play, That's which is right. perfect. And he said, so guess what? You know, yeah, it's going to go rosy and you're going to get up 20. But look at the other side. And the other side is that you're right. risking maybe it opens down 2, 3, 4% if, if all hell breaks loose and Greece right. is definitely out. And so you always want to look at, and just like today you're saying, what are the odds that Google goes up another 80 points? Right. Well, what are the odds that it pulls back 40 points? That's I could see. Just right. Like, and that's where, you know, and so right. that's, that's what. Particularly what happens is that as the market gets going a bit, because it's like, so if you're up 80 points or 13% in an equity in one day, yeah. And, and not just that. Here, it had let, to be up this week, let, too. Let, it, oh, look at it. It's a monster, that's man. If, so, we, if we pull up On Google, a weekly basis, it was the, enormous. The I thing mean. that's pretty amazing, actually, is it looks... It, this is... this. Uh, Google is going to go a lot higher. Yeah. Because watch this, folks. Just broke over all Google this. is an ABC up on a monthly. I mean, it's a six... Sets. Look at this. Yeah. Wait do you see this. So, Google has to do this month, uh, let me pull this out here. This is gonna be sick. Just, that is a big bar. I know. For that So 40 million back. shares, if Google does 40 million shares, so it has to do another 10 million shares by the end of the month, right? Google can be, this could be A, 278 to 615. I mean, that's just an amazing bar. I can't get over that one bar. Isn't, <laughs> On the right. Isn't, isn't that amazing Google's bar? Google's a, a skyrocket stock and, and somehow this that, month can stick out like a sore thumb of like know. that strong. That's I know. pretty amazing. It's it's ama it is amazing. So let me just go through this. Let's see. Uh, let's say two seventy eight. So that's uh, three. That's three thirty. That would be uh, seven twenty five. Oh, that's interesting. Oh no. No eight twenty five. Eight twenty five. Thank yeah. you. Eight twenty five would be the A to B equals C to D. And that's not that's, fun. No, that's doable in a that's second. That's only 135, and that's, it's up 90 right now. That's right. It's halfway now, there. Exactly. Today. And that's what happens. <laughs> and that's what happens with ABC structures too. Now, when we come back, we'll go through the cues because the cues have a different characteristic inside them. You know, the cues are breaking over the high, but that's not even going to have the volume today. So that that's would a have a yeah, that's that, big bars, man. There's a big bars, no doubt. Tom O'Brien, Tom O'Brien, we want to hear from you folks. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow's down 80. Nasdaq is up 26. S&Ps are off two and a half. We're going to break back. If you're looking for a great opportunity to diversify your financial portfolio, consider the principal protected market safe CD from Everbank. They've just released the second running of their five-year market-safe power metal CD, which combines the power of gold, silver, and copper. You get exposure to three valuable metals in one index CD and have the potential to earn up to 45% capped upside payment at maturity if the metals increase in value across annual pricing dates. And should they decrease? No worries. There's zero risk to your deposited principal here, as you still get 100% of it back. Keep in mind, returns are based on CD performance. There is no annual percentage yield or periodic rate of interest on the CD. Intrigued yet? The August 17th funding deadline is quickly approaching. So hurry over to everbank.com slash TFNN hyphen CD for more information, including important product details and disclosures. Once again, that's everbank.com slash TFNN hyphen CD. Everbank is a member FDIC. TFNN is excited to offer a brand new piece of market scanning software unlike anything the industry has ever seen. John Logan and his team have spent years developing their market profile tools to finally be able to release the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. And right now, you can get a two-week trial absolutely free just by visiting TFNN.com and providing us your name and email address. The TAS Profile Scanner Plus is the premier market profile-based scanner in the industry, powered by the acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner is a standalone desktop software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Within three minutes of signing up, you can have the software downloaded and running on your computer with a complete roadmap of market indicators and inflection points to trade off using the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. Sign up today and try this amazing piece of software by visiting TFNN.com. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. 
Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN has just announced a brand new morning lineup that is geared specifically for traders in this volatile traders market. Every morning at 8 a.m., John Logan starts things off with his daily program, The Global Market Pulse. At 9 a.m., Larry Pesavento trades the market during the market open Monday through Friday on Trade What You See. At 10 a.m., Tom O'Brien hosts the Money Masters for the hour, and Basil Chapman hosts his Tiger Technicians Hour at 11 a.m. From 8 a.m. till noon every market day, these traders are with you as they provide up-to-the-second market information so that you can make the most educated and profitable trades possible. The new TFNN morning lineup is happening right now. Tune in to see for yourself what kind of actionable trading discussion they have each morning, Monday through Friday, starting at 8 a.m., live only on Tiger TV at TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. We have the uh, Dow right now off 77. NASDAQ is up 26. S&Ps are off uh, two and a half. And let's go look at, I want to look at the, uh, if, can we just put that here, right there. Um, inside the Dow as to, you know, what is the weakness out here right now. Uh, so inside the Dow Industrials, uh, Intel. Oh, interesting. So Intel's your weakness. Down 64. Chevron. Oh, wait to see this. Oh, Chevron's down buck 36. Boeing's off 167, and Exxon's down uh, 88. Watch this. Chevron, folks, this is a monster. Man, oh, man, we're going to go back to that oil market for a second. What's going on, Chevron's got to be Navy C down. This is going to be interesting to see whether uh, it's going to get the juice today. Now, it needs 3.2 million shares. Let me pull this up. I was watching this thing. But on the weekly, I believe this would be crazy, man. If Just think about this. These companies, Tom, right, I mean, make billions yeah. and we know oil is not going away but this is basically still screaming that oil wants lower price let me put this on a weekly for a it's second a big move what's oil at $15, it's huge. 50 right now yeah i mean it's so watch this number this is this is pretty amazing folks if you take a look at if we look at chevron the the gross numbers imagine you have a gross number in 2013 they've taken a 228 million this year they're taking billion. billion thank you they're taking 138 that's a, that's a fast pullback. But is that? That's gross. Is that, this is, is gross. That, These are gross numbers. This is by by the quarter. And is that the fin has the quarter finished out? What are we? Well, the first no. This is projections. But this is this, okay. That's projections. Though, but still. well, the okay, first okay. the first two aren't. The that's first it. the first. Well, this one definitely. I just didn't know where all the data no. from 2015. So it's projections. That's, that's fine. right. The, the the one that's yeah. in yellow is real. 34.6. Okay. okay. So picture two years ago they're taking the 52 billion. That's a big number. 20 billion dollars for the quarter. Isn't it? I mean, what is that on a daily basis, right? There are 90 days in a quarter, and you drop 20 billion dollars. So it's a big number you drop per, 20 per day. Now watch this. Now, they're paying a dividend of 4.6%. That's right here. Okay. okay. But what happens, of course, is that you can get a dividend play, but if you're at least losing on principal, man, you're going to be a long time coming back. And it's losing on principal, all right. Huge. Does anybody okay. who's done that over the last That's recent, right. Yeah. No, absolutely. Now, let's go to ExxonMobil. ExxonMobil's paying 3.56 as a dividend, right? If we take a look at this, this is coming into the lows, you yeah. know, yeah. with volume. Uh, numbers is this, are the same. This is it. Just this is a mind blower. And and what has happened with the oil market in general, folks, is this: is that these equities were the first sign, and it was like two months before yeah. oil really cracked. You know, like how does that work? Yeah. How does how does that happen? Yeah. So ExxonMobil, folks, 
The first quarter, 67 billion. They wow. used to take it. Well, that's right in half almost. 124 billion. Just even going to last year, it's 40 billion dollars in the quarter. That's 500 million dollars a day almost of revenue. It's pretty close. That's sick. 90 90 dollars, 90 days in the quarter. Isn't that sick? That is 500 million dollars a day of revenue. Yeah. Okay, so now let's go to the oil market. So we take a look at the oil market. That's breaking lower today. Now I. I now, this is going to get intriguing, see, because this is breaking low. Uh, let me make sure I get the right contract. Because what happens on the oil contracts, folks, oil trades by the month. So, where are we? Oil. 16. 16, thank you. Okay, so oil is off. Oh, that's good. I did that. See? Oil's already on the next contract. So, we're at 78,000 contracts right now. It's going to go into this low. The real question is... Oh, look at this. It's going to be an ABC Just down. mentally, and it must be, that's why. I mean, mentally, $50, even I understand that, and I don't trade oil. You know, anybody that starts seeing that $40, I mean, if oil creeps into $30, that's when it's really... We'll see what happens, though. Yeah! That's it, at least recently, but then all, you know, you have natural gas, you have oh, and then, electric, and, it's and, a different and, deal. And it what is. has happened with natural gas? I mean, natural gas can't get off the lows. That's, so this is a continuous contract, right? So, see, when you kind of look at this, you know, even if you really weren't heavily into technical analysis, there's really no floor until you get down to there. Yeah. Just, you know, kind of 47. It's like, yeah. oh, man, hold it. You just broke down again. Yeah. And realistically, it should bounce around probably down here. If it makes it to here these levels right in here. That's right. Yeah. That's right. You know, so um, that's going to be intriguing. Let's go back to the uh, gold market, okay, because gold is going to be the name of the game out here. The, and the only um, PR that gold has got is that it's going lower. That's the bottom line. Um, so we've hit 1129.70. Um, now what you have is this. Okay, so the last time we had any juice on the way down. Now this is important, folks, in the context Markets are always about buyers and sellers. On downdrafts on the way down, though, there's no doubt about it. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Oh, let me out, let me out. Right? Yeah, it, it, it's definitely, okay? So what happens is this, is that if you're long this, you know, if, if you're long this in the futures market, I mean, it's devastating, okay? Just from this morning, that's $1,500, okay, from 45 down to 30 on one contract, okay? You don't, you know... You, it's a big move. It's a big move. It's a huge move. That being said, what does happen is this, is that these spikes down, the way this is creating right now, the last spike down, it looks like every sell out is gone. So what happens there, and now this is around an even number, so okay. that's dangerous, yep. okay, because people put stops around even numbers, okay? Yep. That's why, you know... But what also happens here is that because we've been down there, you see those bars, we've been down there 30 minutes, folks. Yeah. They've tried to jam it 30 minutes more down. Now it has a shot to basically get into maybe the 35 level. It doesn't mean it's going to go up, but it, it means that it won't take a, a lot of buying. Yeah. And where I go with that is this. What I do is this. So you get the downdraft here. The, that downdraft was 1130.70. The three times that it came down to the... 1129.70, you can see the, the volume contracted the first time to 6,000 contracts. Yep. Then you contra contracted to 2,400. Well, the middle one, I gotta get this middle one. Yeah, it, I mean, it, just visually, you it, can it, see the volume. Substantially. Go down. Yeah. Okay. So, on the way up, folks, the way I do this, I, I look and say, okay, where's the last time that it had the juice there? And that's like up here. So that says to me that 1138.30 can be game. But now, of course, you need buyers. And we haven't had buyers in the gold market in years. <laughs> so, you know, we'll see how yeah. that shakes out. I heard Andy Heck, he told me he was going to wake up and buy gold this morning. Really? <laughs> no. Yeah. I've heard he what he's been saying. He I know. I was right going to be really surprised to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> he makes a good case to it. Yeah, he you does. Have, no, you know, he absolutely does. You know, you know platinum so low. There, I mean, he's oh, looking at... There's no doubt about it. And if, folks, if you're going to buy something, if you can get hold of a platinum coins out here today, go get them, okay? Because that's not even close. The difference between platinum and gold is substantial. You know, I mean, platinum is totally where it's at. The problem is, when gold gets to this level, uh, in fact, you know what we can do? One second, this is, yeah, we get another break. Well, I don't think I can do it that quick. But I'd like to call up and find out 
what the actual coins will cost today. Because this is what ends up happening. It'll be a big premium in there. Huge. Yeah. What ends up happening is that the price goes down, and let's say gold's down $13 right now, the premium probably went up an additional $20, so you're actually paying more today because no one will sell it on the way down. Yeah. But that's a, that's if that's the case, that's a good indication that you get near a bottom. That's what yeah. also happens, okay? Because there's no sellers, you know, so. Um, and the NQs, uh, they're up uh, another three or four points. So let me go look at Google. Google must be going higher. Both. Yeah, that's, that's, that's going after. That's going after. Yeah. And you know what can happen here inside the NDX 100 and the Nasdaq, which we didn't look at yet. Uh, that biotechs, the biotechs are mean. They're mean machines. <laughs> um, they haven't moved yet. But the biotechs would be uh, something that uh, absolutely could take them higher. So uh, you get Baidu.com. Let's go to B-I-D-U. So the the whole technology, well, that's a dead cat bounce, though, but it doesn't matter today. It, it's going up. Facebook, however, is not a dead cat bounce. <laughs> Face, wow. Oh, look, at that's going to be an ABC up, too. Facebook and... Just such big moves for such I, big stocks. I know. This isn't, I was saying, over one of the breaks, it's not small companies. They're popping 10%. These, 10 percent. Yep. Even well, Netflix, yeah. the same thing. I mean, yeah, huge, Netflix. huge numbers. and. You know, Netflix. Are you guys subscribed to Netflix? I love Netflix. Yeah. Do you ever watch Peaky Blinders? No. Oh, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> if you say so. I haven't seen it, I'm sure. They have a lot of good stuff. They do. I, I had, I, someone else just turned me on to it a few weeks ago. It's, it's a few months ago. You haven't it, even seen The Full House of Cards yet, though. I don't think you I've got your priorities wrong. Trust me. I know. <laughs> That's a good one on there. No, I, I've watched. I don't. I haven't watched all of them. Yeah, it's worth it, man. I don't know how. I think I cruised through one of those seasons in a weekend. The most recent one. How's the kind? That's that's uh, Kevin Spacey. Yeah, I love yeah. that. No, I, I think I've, I've watched a lot of those. Yeah. I love it when him and his wife they sit on the uh, windowsill and he smoke their his cigarette. butts. You yeah. know what I mean? He's looking so out. Like they're looking out. Cigarette. Yeah. yeah it, it's like it, control Washington. It is. Yeah. Exactly. Looking out in the world. Like I was just thinking when those numbers came out, though, that I canceled my Netflix subscription when all of that stuff happened where they tried to separate and they jacked the prices and okay. everyone canceled all at once. I, I was one of the people, so I canceled. Then I came back when they started introducing some of the programming like House of Cards where yep. I could only get it there. And I haven't thought about canceling it forever. And right. Because when those numbers just came out, they have 3.5 million net ads versus yeah. 2.5 or whatever it was. It's only and eight bucks a month. Only, right? Yeah, it, I think it's 7.95. I think. And I, I, yeah. you know, I don't. I like movies, so that's why I like it so yeah. much. Because well, well, yeah. they feel like movies, even though they're, they're yeah, a series. Right. No, I hear you. Right. Those you know types I mean? of shows. Yeah. They're perfect for those types of shows. Even an hour long drama, you know, Breaking Bad. The same no, thing. You Breaking can just Bad watch is that amazing. Forever. Yeah, yeah. And that was. I wonder how many people literally just got on Netflix. I might have been the reason I got on. They had the full catalog of Breaking Bad. You could pay eight dollars and watch, you know, six, seven seasons of DVDs for Breaking Bad for a month. And I mean, it's amazing when you look at that price model. So I think you I turned me on to Breaking Bad, and that's how I, I think did. I got yeah. on the first time. It right. probably was. Yeah. Right. I've, I've you said know what's the same amazing? Thing to a lot of people. Is I that the, the guy that wasn't Breaking Bad. It's so funny when you see him Brian like in Cranston. person. Yeah, yeah, because he looks he looks like a regular person. <laughs> yeah, and, I know. And at the beginning of that, he is a regular person. And he, then he just turns into this great gangster. Do you know stuff. who they wanted to be in that role before they asked him? Who? Um, Matthew Broderick, Ferris Bueller. Oh, really? Think how weird that would be. That would be weird. It's interesting I want you to look at this. I love that movie. Yeah, I know. And he's a great actor. I love him. Yeah. But I can't even fathom watching no. a show where he tries to be that bad guy that, that whatever, yeah. you know. Nasty. Yeah. Nasty, but, nasty, so nasty. So I wouldn't be short, and I have friends who are long net Netflix and have been forever, and, you That's know, right. They just, uh... That's your buddy, um... Oh, man, that's right. Hold on. So let's go over and let's take a look at Netflix for a second. Because Netflix definitely is a mover inside the NDX 100 I just started also. thinking about myself. I'm never going to cancel. And guess what? I bet a lot of people are never going to cancel. Well, if you have people that are never going to cancel, right. those net ads just... I mean, that's not... A big number if you don't have huge cancel 3.5 million, that's not a huge number when you think how big Netflix is, except for the fact that they have all these people, but if nobody's canceling, that's it's, just... At $8? That's a net uh, this, this, how many, this cup wonder, of coffee just cost me 5 yeah, Exactly, I know. And that's that's going to be gone in 30, you know. Know, 30 minutes. And would your cable bill cost you literally probably today? My cable bill right? is a fortune. Today man. alone. I want to rip off my cable bill. I mean, you bill. might you might pay, within two days, your pay cable bill, you're probably paying on Netflix, you're paying a couple hundred bucks a month or whatever. You I'm know, paying $225. Quick. Yeah. $225, 250 so Right. Think of that. You're almost paying it per day. I know. 300 it's, bucks it's, would be it's, it's stupid. per day. So. And then you have Comcast coming out this week with 
types of plans that they're going to allow for online streaming of their content? Do you start reading about that? Yeah, but do you know what? They, do you see what they're doing? But it's a, like Comcast is like a sick. That's a sick joke because what happens is that you can't get on the internet. You know, you only can get what they get. It's okay. It, I haven't read through it. Yeah. I know. Oh, it's it's crazy. Yeah. It, it's like it's because. All new TVs, folks. I mean, you know, we can go home. I click on. I can watch TFNN all the time, which I do. Okay, just hit the you know the button. It's just like a regular channel. In Comcast case, that's not going to be okay. it. You can only watch what they're streaming. Is yeah. that is that wild? Yeah. So they're going to try then to lock. Then you over to Netflix, maybe. Yeah, well, they, they'll try to lock that down as long it's as just, they can. I just think if you just see how frequently there's like, oh, there's a new deal. Like Verizon has select your channels. That was like the first where you can choose some type of plan. It's not a huge savings, but you can selectively choose your channels. Yes. I don't have that plan, but I have Verizon. So maybe when it comes time for renewal, and then you have Comcast doing this, and it's like they're just going to start coming, I think, within a couple months at a time of different types and apps with their Apple TV, HBO Go. I mean, I have HBO right now through Verizon, but I could totally survive on literally Netflix, and you pay for HBO Go for $15 a month. And well, those are, just like you're saying, movies. I mean, you know I love I, HBO. After Half this, the reason I play cable is probably HBO. Between. Right. After this, I'm getting rid of it. You know why? Because that, uh, that's what I just realized, too. I have, well, there's, I, I want one way that I can do HBO, but I definitely got, because I have Amazon Prime, too. I do, too. Yeah, and I don't even watch that, and I, don't and I should get into it. I it's really just because I have enough options already. I mean, right. they have great original programming just like Netflix does. They have their right. own shows. John Goodman was in a big show that they did that's that's gotten rave reviews, so they have the same type of deal, I know. Amazing. So market-wise out here, uh, basically the, the markets are kind of staying. hanging. Yeah, they're hanging there. They're it's hanging. been a big week. It needs a little relaxation on Friday afternoon. No, no doubt. But what will this is what will happen is that uh, when we get into the close out here today, just like the open, you're going to get more volatility. Um, I, mean, because I can't of, imagine that people wouldn't be taking some of these profits if they had a week like this. Yeah, but I, I agree. <laughs> since, since I'm that bear with no claws left. <laughs> yeah, no, I know. It's been uh, a week. It has. You know, but but the, re, the, you know, the, the reality is is that... Uh, if Google opening up 15% on Friday to cap it off. That's, yeah, totally. Totally. And what is intriguing is that the, if we go over and we go through those bonds in a second, the bonds are still screaming. It's like why the bonds keep continuing to going up. The people are still fearful. They're, they're yeah. you know, they're, they want, just want their principal back. Tom O'Brien, Tom O'Brien, Dow is down 71, Nasdaq's up 29, S&Ps are off a buck and a half. We're going to be right back, folks. Has the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of tfnn.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. 
David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under Trading Newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. Catch Basil Chapman as he uses his Chapman Wave methodology to call the markets. The Tiger Technician's Hour, next on TFNN. <laughs> Welcome back, folks. We appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. And if you haven't test drove the Nadex platform, folks, great time to do it. Come over to our website, at TFNN. See the banner on the top on the side. You can hit that banner, bring the platform up. They'll put $25,000 of paper money into your account. And, of course, don't forget, every uh, Wednesday, Thursday, our man, Mr. Darrell Martin, is on uh, 1 to 2 Eastern Standard Time. We do the show uh, Friday mornings, 10 to 11. Um, now, when you, you like trading the spreads, too, right? I do, yeah. Yeah. Right, because we were just talking about the, um, you know, there, uh, there is a spread right now. There's a binary right now, you know, inside the gold that if at 11:35 it, it would be like 18 to make 130. And what happens with the binaries, however, though, is that the spreads are, they, they, they're they're very large, buy and sells. Right. Right. There's a there's a big spread between the bid and the ask, right. the bid and the offer. Right. And so. That's a little bit tough to stomach sometimes it is. when you're no, it paying is. so far away from where a market maker is willing to pay for that same trade. Right, right. So, you know, you just want to be aware of that. And that's I'm important going to understand. It that's yeah. why I'm, that's and why I I'm still bringing, trade them that's all the why time. I'm bringing it up. But right. if you're going to trade something every day, you know, you're 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 getting in. You're not paying a premium when you're trading the spreads. Right. The actual spreads because right. the market is so tight. Right. Whereas when you're trading the binaries, you are paying a premium. So. That's gonna add up. Yeah. You know, if you if you're only paying that and you're consistently wrong or you're right, either way, you're gonna be paying that premium. So you better be right much more than you're wrong. Um, so we were going to the one thirties, I think. Okay. Oh no, I'm in the spread. See? That's yeah. <laughs> I'm going to gold. We'll go to the daily one thirty. And so these yeah. are all the limits. Eleven thirty five. So what happened was that it's down yeah. so much that all the top end ones aren't even active because right. the the market's so far away from it. But yeah, so you can see now where's the indicative index, gold's at eleven thirty point seven. Yeah. So if you're looking for a close above let's say even eleven thirty two. That's not right. Come on. There yeah, we so go. right now we have a, a five point bid offer spread, and that's not that bad. But what's actually happening here is that this is an individual person. You can see that offer yes. size is just one. Right. Um, so really, it's a six point market on most markets. And so if if you're going to ride it all the way to expiration, that's not that bad either. 
because yeah. you're only paying that five point premium on one side. But if you want to get in this and it moves your way and then you want to get out of it, right. you're going to be paying five on the other side. Right. So what can happen is that this can move a, point or, a point or two in your direction and you just maybe you're just get able to get out break even. And percentage wise, that's almost 30%. Right. Yeah. yeah. Right. So just right. that's, you know, I, um, I really like sometimes the weekly binaries. Oh, right. Because that like I said, sense. I don't want to get in and out because I don't want to pay that bid offer premium twice. Right. So maybe in a Monday and a Tuesday, I'll be willing to pay some nice. premium for a nice four day ride. And okay. And then, you know, and that is a cool way, particularly yeah. because we've weekly had option, you know, it's, it's the same a, way of playing a weekly option. Right. Yeah. And we've had the volatility inside of that, that within that week, actually last week, whether you're a bull or a bear, you could, they, they, they both would have in the money probably. <laughs> Can't work that way. <laughs> no, I mean it went up and down so much. Well, yeah, but then that's are you getting out of those every day? And that's where I, oh, yeah, I no, wouldn't no, be I, actively trading these. Right. No, I, I'm saying all. yeah. So I get in one way when I do those, and okay. I look for the expiration. Now that's not to say that if it went really far on a Wednesday and I could get ninety. Well, it did. That's all, that's all I'm saying. That, last um, last week you had two hundred point swings. Well, yeah, but if you're you could be playing an easy ten to one that's way below oh, the market, I got you're, it. you're okay. never you know. Yeah, it, and that's when you'd be playing a ten to one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. For yeah. a weekly, I'm not going to play like you know a, a one point five to one. I'd be looking right. for a big move, and because, right. So that's that makes sense. Yeah. You stay right there, folks. I'm Mr. Basil Chapman's going to come up next. Uh, Growler and Plowing with you, and of course Dave White uh, is going to be up this afternoon, and we're going to be back. Great show, Tom. Great Have show, a great man. one. Have a safe Have a great one. weekend. Have a great weekend, safe weekend, folks. So you stay right there, man. Mr. Basil Chapman's coming up next. And uh, as we get into this closeout here, you can expect a little bit more volatility, folks. More volatility. Totally, man. Where it's at. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This is TFNN.